In this video, you will learn how to create quick and simple tactile graphics using a fevicol tube and paper of any GSM. To use the same worksheet that we have used in our video, you can download the sheet from the description box below. On the screen in front of you is the image of a little girl and her 10 sticks. This is a picture from a storybook that we made accessible to little kids who are blind by adding the tactile overlay that you will learn how to create in this video. To know more about why we create tactile graphics and where it can be used, please refer to our video linked in the description box below. Let's begin by tactiling the first few lines that we see on our worksheet. Take your bottle of glue and squeeze gently as you place the bottle on the page. Now drag your bottle across while maintaining the same amount of pressure throughout your tactile drawing. This same amount of pressure is important in tactile drawings so that you do not have any air bubbles that are formed or bumps that are formed along the way because when it dries, it dries to a very inconsistent and unpleasant texture. A tip towards creating great tactile drawings is not only maintaining the same pressure throughout the drawing, but using a single stroke for your whole drawing. As you tactile the objects, you will suddenly realize that the lines were a little easy, but when you started to come to larger spaces, such as the circle and the triangle, your hand doesn't, can only move so far, so you cannot do the whole drawing in a single stroke. Now, instead of moving the paper to achieve this, lift your hand above the page, which gives you more surface area to work with and your, your hands are more free to move across your page. So do not rest your hand or your elbow on the desk or the paper. Lift it up and work across the page. Make sure that you do not squeeze too much glue at the end of the lines because glue tends to spread and these will form rounded edges instead of sharp edges. Let your paper dry for a little while. It would take around 15 to 30 minutes for it to be completely dry. It is important to keep your paper in a dust-free zone. This is what it would look like when your drawing is completely dry. Uh, the glue is now transparent and you can see the marker drawings below. Next, we have a few tips and tricks while creating your tactile overlay. While creating your tactile overlay, sometimes a little bit of glue would not fall into the correct line that you want. For instance, the line we are doing right now. That's okay. What you can do is continue your line and later take a matchstick or a earbud. In this video, I'm using a earbud and slowly begin to push the glue back into its line. You can smoothen out the edges with the earbud as well. You might find a few air bubbles that form. All you have to do is take a pin and pop it. Thank you for watching this video. With this we hope that you will be able to create your own tactile graphics and do email us, write to us if you have any questions and follow us on our social media pages to get in touch with us and see what we're up to.